Straight line can be defined as an infinite set of collinear points. Let us assume that the point A, let us assume that the point A with position vector A and coordinates x1, y1 and another point B with position vector B and coordinates x2, y2 are two given points are two given points on the line on the line if these are two points on the line we can obviously draw them here somewhere let's call this as a x1 y1 and another point b here somewhere with coordinates x2 y2 and the position vector for b is given and that is b position vector for a is given and that is a let us call this as position vector a and this is position vector b now if we join both a and b this is the line which is required this is what we get if we take a variable point p on this line and call its coordinates x y and the position vector for p is let us call it c now these distinctions must be made that the point a is with known coordinates we know exactly what is its location and point b is also known we know what are the coordinates of b but point p is a variable point we don't know we have just assumed its coordinates are x and y if these three points a p and b are points on the same line then vector a p and a b must be collinear vector so let's do that procedure here if p with coordinates x y and position vector c is a point on the line on the line then by definition then by definition by definition all these three points a p and b are collinear definition a p is scalar multiple let's call that scalar number t is a p is a scalar multiple of vector a b because they have same line of action it's just a p and a b could have the same direction or opposite direction depending upon the positive or negative value of t and the length of a p is either fraction or multiple of a b depending upon the numerical value of t so let's call this as equation one and now we will find values of a p and a b and then we will substitute these values for equation one since a p is equal to according to the rules of vector addition this is equal to a o plus o p and here a o is equal to minus a the reason because o a was given equal to a if o a is equal to a then the direction will be reversed if we reverse the order and that's why this will be minus a plus o p that is unknown vector position vector c and similarly we will find the value for 
AB. Similarly, similarly AB is also equal to AO plus OB and for the same reason AO is again equal to minus A plus OB is equal to B and we can substitute these values of AP and AB in equation 1. Substituting substituting values of AP and AB in equation 1 in equation 1 what we get is minus A plus C is equal to minus A plus B times T. So if that is the case then we can add plus A on both sides and this is what is what we get is equal to A plus T time B minus A and this is called the vector form of equation of straight line which is vector form vector form of equation of form of equation of straight line.